It sounds amazing at Churchill's, but yeah, my pretty, fucking hearing is gone for like three days. Good, yeah. Like, ah. yeah Extra blood out of the ears. But, like a lot of shit. Man. <laughs> the last, the last time I was hanging out back there with you, I remember looking and you know, straight up the volume just you're on ten. So yeah, you know, everything's red. Right, right. right. There we go. Everything got red. Yeah, hey, you know, red. Right. Can you put up straight up? It was just all the way up. That's the easiest. I just have yeah. a black flag one time. Like, and they're like, this is when they first started. Like, this is one of their first tours. They go, hey, we're ready for sound check. You ready? So I, took it. I had this old car report. I took my arm and put all the faders up. I put the cover on it. And I went like this. I gave it, we're ready, motherfucker. And the kid was like, oh, shit. It was insane. And they're like, dude, they go, this is the fucking craziest place in the United States. And it was, it was like a fight, man, a brawl, dude. No, because I was at church shows. And then um, the album hanging out with you. And then I keep, one of these bands, they come up and they're like, "Yo, man, like Rats doing something, but yo, he won't give me any reverb and like, you know, that's very right long." Reverb, and, and I was like, I was like, dude, just tell him you need it. And then they're like, "We did." <laughs> <laughs> and he won't fucking they give it to you. And I was like, room, I was like, man. just tell him you need it. And they're, the they're like, already fucking yeah, got reverb. reverb the room. Not up, but it was one of those things where they were like, "How do we tell him?" And I was it's like, "Funny reverb." I don't know. I'm like, just go in there and just fucking whoop. You don't fucking a, need it. Especially when your fucking yeah, room's right. empty. It's plenty of fucking echo. <laughs> That's the ultimate disc. No reverb. Yeah. There's no one fucking here. I forget what band we were playing with. Like and like Rat comes to the backstage and he's like, yo, you guys ready to sound check? And they're all like, yeah, who do you want first? And Rat's like, the whole fucking band. The whole band. <laughs> and fucking they were all like, huh? <laughs> The first four fucking lines of vocal lines. Everybody's like, well, you know, the standard. I go, fuck you in the standard. Who made the standard? Fuck the drums. Churchill's like, everything's loud, but it sounds great. Like, it's not like yeah, it's like, just present. It's, 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 it it's about the, the room. I mean, it's that, with Gabriel, there's a band, and, and there's a room, and there's, and there's people that absorb it. So some bands have more people, some people have less. So you just got to play with it. It's going to change, you know? I mean, said, there's no the is on your sound crowd. doing sound, man. It's it's just whatever is happening, you know.
right now it's all about the singles. It just seems like that's what people are doing right now. Or? I just I think it's just what we should. I don't be even, doing. Yeah, I don't even think it was like yeah. If we wait around to get fucking twelve songs that we all agree on, or whether we're recording an album fucking five years from now. Just by the time that first song that we decide on. That song will feel so old and fucking boring. It's just like, yeah, and in a way, I feel like we've never really written, like, that's never been our vibe. Like, we've never written, like, yeah, let's make, like, fucking some kind of album. It's never been, like, some sort of, like, like, essentially, songs are making sense together because that's what you're writing at the time, and you can make connections to them, but it's never been, like, oh, this is the album. Where did you guys meet, like, in Miami? Uh, mm, high school. school. Did you meet Danny when you went to, like, MCC or something like that? Or? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's one of my favorite graffiti writers, uh, like when I was a kid. He's a Mary Alito, right? Yeah. 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 Big Alito. time, which is beautiful. I mean, yeah. It's like, I love that. Yeah. It's... My whole life, you know, that's like a weird, like... It's like a... Like a... Love this growing up, if you're like Cuban. You know, if you're like your parents' friends would always care, like, Oh, I do it in Mary Alito. You know, like, it's almost like a diss, but out of love. Like, yeah, because it's like... Cause you know they send a bunch of they send, like, send a bunch of fucking all the crazy people over and all that yeah. shit. So it's kind of like you're saying like you're crazy. You're but like, yeah, this is yeah, a, it doesn't mean it's direct like, like that. But just kind of yeah, it's like a diss. Like oh, you're you're a crazy little fuck. Have you guys ever gotten hassled for being like Latino? Uh, oh, that actually that was oh, scary yeah. shit. We had a day off and we had to like we had to stop somewhere and we got a hotel somewhere in Montana. California. The people there were like fucking looking at us like crazy, and then they went up to Diego and we were like. You're not from around here, like, show me your pedigree. You gotta get the fuck out of here if you're gonna show me yeah, your pedigree. Like, if you call the cops and they're showing up in a horse, yeah. I'll take this guy out of here. Hey, we're like, yo, just... Someone told us on tour, oh, I think it was Chooch. Chooch. Like, oh, yo, if you call fucking Chipotle, like, and say, like, hey, you. you're a traveling band, they have, like, they'll give you free food. And then, dude, this one time, fucking, I don't know, we went again, somewhere in Virginia or something, and we called. Yeah. It already seems suspicious, like, yeah, we have food you guys could take, or some shit. It was like, something that was like... Yeah, was the way like, that it would work is that we would go, go up to the place, you know, you order everything, order like, y'all have nothing. a burrito, I have a whatever the fuck, everybody orders yeah, and order shit. Yeah, food. And when you get there, you go, hey, I'm fucking right now. Yeah, we called earlier. Dude, we, we, so, so that we got to the front, and they're like, oh, okay. Like, the manager's like, okay, and they're like, okay, so just pay for your food, and uh, here you go. A, it's bag a, fucking, of, a bag of a beef. A fucking Ziploc bag of fucking beef. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the lady thing is? The lady's like, here you go, boom. And I, yeah, and I look at Red Out, and Red Out is like, he's like, crying. <laughs> not Red Out, like, in tears, <laughs> like, oh, oh no. Like, and no, I was no. like, motherfucker, dude. There you go, dude. And he's, he's like, <laughs> raw beef. A bag of raw beef. <laughs> no, it wasn't raw. It was no, just fucking take it. Yeah, just grab it. <laughs> yeah, we grab it. Like, oh, thank you, thanks. You know, for the whole thing. Like, we ate our meal with the fucking <laughs> no, bag. Like, oh my god, please put yeah, that shit cats. away, dude. We get some cat on time. We're like, dude, and we're like, fucking suckers, dude. You guys are suckers. And we're like, whatever. Dude. Never, was, never again, dude. Fuck this shit. Watching planes flying over with a smile 
say Florida where like you would never say a band from Chicago is from Illinois or a band from LA is from California or a band from Brooklyn is from New York but like they ha it's almost like there's like no context and they would just say like Florida band man it's like yeah we're not a fucking Florida band 